Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add automatic subtitles and automatic captions to your videos. Okay, so if I jump onto my laptop right here, as we can see, I'm in Final Cut Pro, and I've got a video which I want to post to my Instagram Reels, and I basically want to add Make captions sense. to this video. So if I click play from the beginning. Hey Instagram Reels, Alec here, and I'm just making... Okay, so I'm going to start by adding a caption and the way you do this to add captions, you click on the edit menu at the top, go down to captions and then click on add caption and then you type out your caption. Here I say, hey, Instagram Reels, Alec here and then I can trim it to here. To add another one, I can hold down the option key or the alt key, click and drag and then I can just double click to edit this one. Let's just listen to what I say. here and I'm just making this video. I'm just going to move this along. And then here I say, and I'm just making this video. And as you can see, the captions are now appearing on the screen right here. Now this video is only a few seconds long, so it's not super time consuming, but when you have big video projects, it can be very time consuming to manually type out all of the captions. So right now I'm gonna show you how to automatically add captions to your Final Cut video projects. Now captions are something you add to your video after you've completely finished your video project. So once you've finished your video project, we're going to be using an online tool called Veed. So we're going to head over to Google and you can either Google the Veed, which is V-E-E-D, or you can click on the link which I'm going to put in the description. Now, once you're on Veed, we're going to click on the new project button in the top left. Once we've clicked on the new project button, the product editor opens up and here we need to upload the video that we want to add captions to. So I'm going to click on the upload video button and I'm just going to select the video that I want to add captions to. So if I click on open, as we can see now the video is being uploaded into Veed's project editor. If I click play. Hey Instagram Reels, Alec here and I'm just making this video. To this is perfect. Before you continue watching this video, I do want to mention real quick that the delay in the audio sync is due to the fact that I am screen recording on my old 2015 MacBook. My old computer can't quite handle the screen recording and me using video editing software at the same time. So try not to pay attention to the delay if it bothers you. That being said, keep watching the video. Right, so now I go back to the beginning. Now to add automatic subtitles to this video, all I'm going to do is click on the subtitles tab in the left and then here I'm going to click on the auto subtitle tool and select the language that I'm talking in. So here I'm speaking in English, so I'm going to select English, but you can choose from a bunch of different languages, and then I just click on start. Now V takes anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how long your video is, to automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into text and turn the text into captions. So now as we can see V is finished and we have captions for our videos. So if I just play it back, Hey Instagram Reels, Alec here, and I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me on my YouTube channel recently. Thank you, video coming out next week. Okay, perfect. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that there is a few mistakes. For example, at the beginning I say, hey Instagram Reels, but because I speak quite fast and Instagram Reels is a name, Veed won't necessarily pick up on it. So I'm just going to change that by quickly typing here, hey Instagram Reels. And now if I play it back, hey Instagram Reels, Alec here, and I'm just and again, it says, I like he instead of Alec here. This is just because again, it's a name. So Alec here, and I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the support. So now if I click play. Alec here, and I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me on my YouTube channel recently. Thank you, video coming out next. Okay, perfect. Now, everything that wasn't a name, Veed picked up very clearly, and I have basically added automatic captions to my project right here in a matter of seconds. And now, I don't necessarily like this style right here, the styling of the subtitle. I like the placement, but if I want, I can move it around, resize and rotate it. But I'm going to change the style. If I click on the style tab here, and I'm going to choose this white text with the drop shadow. I think this looks pretty clean. So if I play it from the beginning again. Instagram Reels, Alec here, and I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the Okay, I think this looks quite decent, but just to make it more visible, I'm going to choose this one right here. And I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change the font size, let's just say to 60. So now if I click play. The support that you guys have been giving me. Perfect, I'm just gonna click and drag this box to make it a tiny bit bigger. There we go, place it in the middle. Now, once I'm happy with my captions, I have a few options. If I head over to the options tab, I can either download them as an SRT file if I want to upload them, for example, to YouTube or Facebook as closed captions. But if I want open captions, so this is the captions that are always displayed and visible on the screen, when I'm gonna be posting them to Instagram Reels, I have to have open captions because Instagram doesn't support SRT files. I can just click the download button and my video will be rendered with the subtitle was on the video at all times. You won't be able to remove them. But like I said, you can just click on download.srt to download the subtitle file to allow you to upload that 
to your Facebook or YouTube videos. Now, what happens if I don't wanna post this to my Instagram Reels, but I want to post it to my Instagram feed, for an example, I want to make a square post or a four by five portrait post. I can click on the canvas size drop down menu and I can choose, let's look for the four by five portrait post. So this is Instagram dimensions and now I can click and drag my video around, resize it a tiny bit right here. Might move myself down a bit again. There we go, just like that. And my subtitles again, still displayed on the screen very well. Hey Instagram Reels, Alec here, and I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the support that you guys. Okay, this is looking very good, so I'm happy with that, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the download button, and then Veed starts to render my project, and once it's finished rendering, I can then download it to my computer. And that is how to add automatic subtitles to your Final Cut Pro projects. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, really appreciate it. That being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.